Hi, everyone. Welcome to Appliance Advisors. I'm Francesco, joined by my co-host, Dennis. Today, we're going to talk about induction cooking, and specifically, does induction make noise when you're using it? So sometimes first-time users of induction may be surprised or may notice a little buzzing or humming, and they're kind of wondering, why is it making this noise, and what is that? So one thing to note, I think, first is how is induction really different than kind of a traditional electric cooktop or electric cooking? Now, electric, kind of old school electric, had really just a glass top with essentially electric coils underneath it that is heating the glass up. Induction, very different, way more efficient and really the fastest, most efficient way of cooking, but it uses magnets. So it's the magnets that are attracted to the metal pot that is transferring that heat directly. So a little different how those are being used and how they function. And that's why you may hear some noise with induction, induction, but not electric. What is some of that noise that you're hearing? Yeah, we get a lot of times when people finally get their new stove installed and the first time they go to put it on, they, they hear this noise. So here's what we tell people to do. Turn the burner on high. You can turn it on, by, on high. Keep the, keep the pan in your hand. Don't put it on the stove. And, it, and when you put the pan on, that's when you instantly hear, right? You hear that kind of whirring or, or, or buzzing sound potentially. Um, lift it off, it stops. So it's not the burner. The burner itself, is, it's just the reaction to the magnet. So the ma that magnet is picking up the ferrous metals. And basically, it's like when you hold two magnets together, if you ever try to do that, they kind of push away from each other. Well, that's really what it's doing in light speed, right? Very, very quickly. Um, there can be some culprits that exaggerate it. So one is when you, a lot of times when you're on more medium and low heat, You'll hear it a bit more um, than high because it's just going so fast, gets a little cleaner connection. That could be one. The other one is thinner pots and pans or your particular pot and pan, if it's not perfectly flat and level, if it's warped at all. And sometimes you don't even see it. But, you know, uh, I, I have induction myself. I love it. I have a wolf induction stove and it's the best thing I have. But I will tell you, recently bought a couple of new pans and one was kind of a uh, it's a green pan, but it's a, it, it is the brand, but it's a very thick cast iron, almost feeling pan. And the other one was a pan by a company called Madewell, which is a phenomenal induction pan, but definitely thinner, but still high quality. More like an all cloud, I would say. You put the Madewell on, the performance of the Madewell is spectacular in terms of high to heat, unbelievable. But you hear the noise. You then put on this, this green pan. I will tell you the Madewell heats a little faster. But the green pan is definitely thicker, much thicker, and it deadens that noise a lot more. So it was just, you know, I did this comparative pan to pan, so it can vary to the pan um, as much as much again on medium and lower heat to hear it. You might also hear some clicking occasionally, not always, but you could, depending on the brands, because that might be the relay switches in there, kind of shutting off and on. It's Especially when you're going from like one temperature to another, or changing temperatures that way, you might Correct. hear it a little bit. Listen, I have learned as long as we've done this, that noise is very subjective. If when you're listening to this blog that's, uh, or this post um, and podcast, if it's something that concerns you, go to the store you bought it from and bring in your pans and honestly try them. You should. Um, but I will tell you, it's certainly I, uh, fine. It doesn't ruin our evening. And the performance is spectacular. And half the time you have a hood fan on and half the time it's not silent and you're listening. You know, so I think it's something you can get used to. I don't even think it's a big deal and it can vary by pot or pan. So certainly not a reason not to buy induction, but a question we get a lot of times after the fact. Yeah, definitely not something you should be concerned about. There's nothing that, it's not like there's anything wrong with the cooktop or anything like that. And with induction too, it's not like, you, it's not like you're saying that you have to buy expensive pots and pans. Induction will work with anything that's magnetic on the bottom. So certainly some heavier ones will kind of deaden that noise a little bit more but you don't need to buy anything crazy expensive either to work with induction. And to your point, I mean, yeah, I, we would recommend induction all day long. It's the best, most efficient way of cooking, um, the safest way of cooking, really kind of high performance on both the high and the lows. So really just something that we definitely get that question a lot and kind of want to put that out there about kind of why you might may be hearing that. And but. bring your pans, you know, your pans and the pans that may be in the store that you have. Like for instance, we have a chef, he has great pans. His may sound one way on a particular cooktop and yours, again, maybe a little, not quite as flat, a little thinner, a little thicker. So it could have a whole different effect. So don't be afraid to bring them in and try them. Um, but otherwise, yeah, that's kind of the debunking the noise if, as we hear of. There we go. Perfect. 
And don't forget to follow us on social media for appliance tips and updates from Yale Appliance. Your feedback is what shapes our series. Like what you saw, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Stay informed and inspired on all your appliance needs. This is Appliance Advisors signing off.